Hello, it's Rosalind Henschel. I'm here today with Dr. Habib, and we're going to be talking about dental implants. First of all, hello, Dr. Habib. Thank you for being here today. Hi, Rosalind. Hi. Um, my first question to you, um, because you've obviously had a lot of experience as a dentist and know an awful lot about dental implants. If you were going to give advice to anyone who was considering dental implants, what would be the, the top few tips that you would give them? Okay, Rosalind, I think uh, there are three important things that you should look at if you're looking either for an implant dentist or for a cosmetic dentist. I think the first thing is you need to look at the dentist's reputation. Secondly, you need to look at how much experience the dentist has. And thirdly, you need to be comfortable with the dentist that you're going to see. So go, if we start with the reputation, the first thing is I think you need to look at the dentist's website, have a look at uh, the uh, testimonials, have a look at any Google reviews, have a look at the before and after photographs. And I think you should also ask if you're the dentist, if you could actually speak to one or two of his patients so that you can get some direct feedback about what experience that um, patient had. Um, so coming to the experience, I think you need to go to somebody who, one, has placed a lot of implants, and if you're having cosmetic dentistry, somebody who's done a lot of cosmetic dentistry as well. Because unfortunately, a lot of dental practices advertise that they do implants, and they advertise they do cosmetic dentistry, but they actually have very little experience. And sometimes they actually ask a dentist to come in from another practice or even sometimes from abroad to place the implant. And this I don't think is such a good thing because in, in that situation you only see that dentist once and then in the future you don't have any follow-up with the same dentist. So I think it's in an ideal world you want to try and make sure you see a dentist who actually places the implant and is in the practice all the time. And then finally, coming to being comfortable with the dentist. It's a good idea to actually go to the practice, meet the staff, meet the dentist, and just be sure that you're very comfortable with the dentist and you trust them. Because when you have any implants in place, if you have any cosmetic dentistry, you're going to be going several times uh, to the practice. You'll be seeing the dentist several times. So you want to be comfortable with them. Oh, that's, that's a lot of things then for people to think about, some very good general advice there. Um, for anyone who's maybe watching and, and they're in the Surbiton area, which is where you practice, and maybe they, they might be considering coming in to visit you, can you tell us a little bit about how your practice might differ from some of the other practices out there and, and what people might expect when they come to visit you? Sure, Rosalind. Um, firstly, regarding reputation, on if you have a look at our website, you'll be able to read many uh, reviews, many testimonials, and see a lot of before and after photographs of the type of work that we do. And I think uh, I'd be very happy also if anybody wanted to speak to one or two of my patients who have had implants placed or who have had extensive cosmetic dentistry. Um, in terms of experience, um, we've been here for 30 years. And I've been on hundreds of courses on implants and cosmetic dentistry. And I think now um, we've placed hundreds of implants and carried out a lot of cosmetic dental uh, procedures. So we do have a lot of experience. Um, as far as the uh, practice itself is concerned, uh, if you come and meet this, you'll see that our staff are very friendly. Uh, myself and the hygienist, we both have a a reputation for being very gentle and caring and I think that this is something we would see. We do see a lot of nervous patients and a lot of them even when they move away from the area, sometimes hundreds of miles away, a lot of them still come back to see us because they trust us and they feel comfortable with us. So it's a, a, the gentle caring de dentist down in Surbiton then. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Thank you for that advice. That was really, really interesting to hear about. And uh, anyone else who is watching out there, if you are in the service and area and you would like to get in touch with Dr. Habib and his team, his number's on the screen, so please do give him a call. Finally, Dr. Habib, is there anything else that you'd like to add for everyone? Okay, just on a final note, um, I would say that if you're going to have 
implants or cosmetic work. Um, don't uh, put price as your main priority. Money is important, but if you go to the dentist who is the cheapest, almost certainly they'll be cutting corners. It could be in the actual clinic itself hurrying it, or they could use a cheaper dental laboratory who will hurry their work. And then you may end up getting treatment which may not last very long. So that's just uh, something you, know, you should have a think about. Great. Okay. Thank you. Um, so, as, as one final uh, word out to everyone who's watching, Dr. Habib's number is on the screen. Dr. Habib, thank you very much for your advice today. Um, thank you very much for being here on the interview, and we look forward to speaking to you again soon. Goodbye. Thank you, Rosalind. Thank you.